Hello everybody, my name is Nathan Sifu, and welcome to Super Mario Crossover. Let's play. Oh, there was a power up the mist and a fucking Seppuku time, get my get my three lives back. Ah Oh What? Fuck really? Oh no, we got bullet bills. Oh lordy. Oh lordy, the bullet bills. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh my god, this is about to get really hard. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> Holy bullets. Oh fuck. Oh sh shit. <gasps> Mother fuck. Oh. Fuck. This could be. This could actually seriously be a, a stream ender if I if I don't fucking get this because I'm at the end of me rope, man. We are back, ladies and gentlemen. It has been a very long time since I've played this game. Um, but uh, I'm, I want to get back into this, and I want to get to the World 8 and beat it. And then I want to just replay the game and just do, like, um, uh, j just, just mix it up with a bunch of different characters and stuff, because I want to get the most out of this game, you know? Uh, just a second now. It's been a little while. I forget how what my selecty things are. Okay, there we go. Okay, see if I can remember my controls here. It's been a little while. Okay. All right, we're good to go. Perfect. So yes, I'm gonna be sk I'm gonna be skipping to uh, to World Eight so I can kind of resume where I was before. I kind of like that it turned out this way because I like. Including like the skips, the, the 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 world skips. It's it's cool. Oh, and actually, it also gives me a chance to uh, farm some one ups, some very desperately needed one ups and upgrades. Yeah. What's that uh, comment in stream? Uh, Kingdom Hearts isn't uh, isn't a typical uh, turn-based RPG. Um, sort of sounds like uh, Shadow of Colossus in a sense that you have to fight a live-action battle. Oh, okay. Um, however, unlike Sotka, um, there is uh, a tiny box in the bottom left that has attack, magic items. Uh, super fun. I seriously recommend it. Oh, okay. Uh, not gonna lie, you might uh, know it's going. You might not know what's going on at first, uh, kind of like everyone else. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's uh, it's all been everything I've heard about Kingdom Hearts has been very positive. Um, oh, there we go. Okay. Um, I was gonna say yeah. Last week I was uh, I did a stream of uh, Dark Souls three. Um, I just managed to get this. Oh, I managed to get this really good deal um, on Kijiji, which is kind of like Craigslist for Craigslist for Canadians. Um, and yeah, and it turns it turns out that I, I love Dark Souls three. It um, uh, eventually I'm gonna have Dark Souls three coming on to um, on to Vidme and YouTube as well. But um, uh, it's taking a really ridiculously long time to encode. I I think. I don't know, I think my computer might actually be suffering some issues because it's taking just an absurdly long time to, to encode, but anyway. Uh, wait, what am I doing? Oh no, I still want to be Samus. But I wanted to change the theme. Oh wait, how do I go back? Right. Do you want to change the theme? Uh, oh, let's, let's go full classic here. There we go. I've heard super good things about Dark Souls. Yes, it's um. See what's good about um what's good about Dark Souls, um, whoops. And actually, kind of kind of similar to this, um, is Dark Souls has something that uh, that is really lacking from modern gaming, which is that there is a real consequence for dying in the game. And like in other words, if um checkpoints are scarce and um. So you know, if you if you die, you're you're gonna have to deal with a lot of backtracking. Um, so you know, it's not like you get through the hard part 
uh, and then there's a checkpoint. It's you get through the hard part, and then you have to deal with the other three hard parts after that, three or four or five hard parts after that, to get your to get your checkpoint. It's uh, it's brutal. Ha. But to but to a degree, I appreciate it. You know, it's it doesn't. You know, I like that it doesn't hold your hand. And actually, another game, another game that I'm gonna have to get into that's really brutal is I'm gonna get, have to get back into AVGN Adventures. It's uh, that game is a shitload of fun. It's, I mean, it is frustrating at the same time because it's, you know, it's it's made to make you rage. But hey, what what's in these blocks? Oh, nothing. Okay. Thought I'd try it out. Okay, here is World Warp number one. Moving to World Four. And then we're going to jump from there into World 8. Ugh. What is it? Oh, okay. Okay, let's change the environment once again. Want to mix it up always. Uh, oh, I think I tried that one and it's really frustrating. It's like... It's just confusing. Um, what is this? Castle oh, that's Castlevania. Uh, I, I did a little too much Castlevania last time. I want to mix it up. Uh, Blaster Master. What's this? Zelda 2? Oh, sure. Let's do some Zelda 2. Oh yeah, I think the visuals for this one can be a bit confusing too. I think I, I think I have my camera up too high. My eyes look really small. Oh, <laughs> cool, it's a candle. Okay, I gotta just get this guy. Huh? Oh. Oh yeah, I think unlike my other weapons, this one will go through walls. It's funny. I was uh, playing this. Um, I was playing the original Mario actually for, for a little bit. Um, I'm sort of doing a uh, uh, sort of this cool thing on on uh, VidMe. Um, uh, I don't know if this will be up before GamerRaf has it out or, or not, but uh, GamerRaf did this thing where it was um, a community let's play where everybody plays one level from uh, Super Mario Bros. Um, and uh, I'm going to be in a couple of the videos uh, or a couple of the levels, which is uh, is really neat. Uh, okay. 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 This is this is actually good, a good kind of practice run. I'm getting used to the controls again. Oh. Okay. Yeah, that's right. There we go. I'm getting. Uh, was it AV AVGN? Uh, was it uh, Dark Souls? Ooh boy, that dragon uh, sure was hard. Hopefully, uh, a checkpoint is around somewhere. Oh boy, another dragon. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly right, dude. <laughs> uh, no, that's that's exactly what it's like. And then uh, AVG Adventures is a super hard game near the end. Uh, yeah, it's AVG Adventures is kind of a super hard game near the beginning. It's it's just it's always hard. But um, but oh my god, the music's just so fucking awesome, and, and like the gameplay is just so. Good. Uh, Super Mario Bros. Nest? Sure, let's do that. And, uh, oh, geez, I should actually have a timer out so that I know how long episodes are, but... Mm. Alright, here we go. Seven lives. Oh, that's a good start. Okay, so it is this level that I have the other warp. Uh. Got all the power-ups, so that is also good. Okay, this this actually will be way easier with Samus than it will be with Mario. Because I can just do this. Yay! <laughs> and up we go! <laughs> that was a little bit tricky when you're uh, when you're actually playing the real Mario. And welcome to Warp Zone, yeah! Alright, here we go. Alright, we are heading into World 8. This is it, Super Mario, Super Mario Crossover. We are back, baby! 
That was fun, but I'll have to pause it there. If you enjoy my content and want to see more, do some of the stuff that the screen is telling you, and check out my other stuff. If you want to see me play live, check out the links in the description. Come talk to me, maybe even play with me. That is it for this episode, and I will see you in the next game.